Translations are actually really easy math problems. Take this word problem, for example. It says the graph of the function f of x equals the absolute value of x is translated as shown below. Write an equation that represents the translated graph. Now, what it means by translation is it's saying this graph used to be in a different location. This equation tells us that the graph used to be at the very center. That's where the bottom point, the vertex, used to be. But it's moved over 2 and down 1. Literally, you don't have to do any computation whatsoever. I mean, this is the answer. I'll, I'll write it right now. y equals the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. There it is. That's it. And you can get that by just looking at the picture. Now, you moved over 2 to the negative and down 1. A lot of people have confusion and don't understand why this is a positive 2 then. They say, Mr. Moy, shouldn't it be a negative 2 since we went over negative 2 in the direction? Well, the negative 2 again tells you that negative 2 needs to make this value 0 so that you can drop 1 down. So it's always the opposite of what you would originally use. And that's how easy this problem is. So all you have to do is just look at the picture and say, where did it move from the middle? It's a counting skill, and it shouldn't be that difficult at all whatsoever.